towards the beginning of Kitetse, we read about the Ben Sorero Moreb, the wayward son who is executed by the court, a commandment by which the Gemara comments there has never been, nor will there ever be a situation of such a wayward child. And nevertheless, the Torah presented this topic for us to learn and study the lessons from what is practically a purely theoretical halacha. Rashi on our parsha explains, based on the Gemara, that a ben sorero more is executed al shem sofo on account of his future, meaning that the Torah knows that a child who engages in such behavior, one who is a thief, a glutton, and a drunk, will grow to be a ruthless criminal and a social pariah. It therefore mandated his punishment, his execution, to prevent him from committing even more severe crimes as an adult. The Maharsha and Sanhedrin and Dafayin Bet and the Mizrahi note that this seems to run counter to a different principle we learn in Rosh Hashanah and Daftad Zayin, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu judges the world in its present state. He doesn't render judgment about what might be in the future. Why is the Ben Sorero Moret sentence based solely on the future? Why is he different? The great 20th century Balmutzer Rav Elio Lapian Zatzal taught that there are two reasons. We look at a person today and expect certain behaviors in the future. The first are the person's inherent qualities, the nature, the nurture of a person, and the second, a person's behaviors. Regarding the very first, HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't take one's future conduct into account because all people possess certain qualities that make them more prone to one type of behavior or another. However, the Torah expects us to harness the good qualities and overcome the negative ones. And just because someone has a predilection to certain negative qualities, HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't punish us over what we might do. But when it comes to behaviors, it's something entirely different because the Parsha of Ben Sorero Moret teaches something frightening that it's theoretically possible for someone to reach a point in their behavior where their actions are ritualized, ingrained in routine, where what he or she will do next can be foretold. In those cases, a person is punished based upon that predetermination. True, such an extreme situation has never and will never take place, but explained Rev. Lopian, reinforced habits do become so routine that it's as if we have no control over ourselves. They just happen for both the good and the bad. That's why some people can always make it to Minyan and others never seem to be able to be there. Why some people speak Lush and Hara and others just don't know how to do it. It's not that they were born that way, it's that they became that way. And that's what we learn from the Ben Sorero More, a lesson all the more important during this month of Elul, when we have the responsibility of breaking habits that require breaking and of committing ourselves to take upon new habits, which we hope to keep for many years to come.